Well, it has been quite the productive and interesting day for two Starliner astronauts who just took off from the Space Coast in a new spacecraft. They were supposed to dock to the International Space Station this afternoon, but it was delayed by an hour. News 6's James Barbero tells us about the journey to safely get them on the ISS and what's next for the mission. As excited as perhaps any time in their decorated careers in space. Lots of cheering here in the room, big hugs. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are back on the International Space Station, this time as Starliner astronauts. It's the first time both of NASA's commercial crew partners have crews on the space station, SpaceX, and now, finally, Boeing. Yeah, we are thrilled as well. Um, I'm not sure we could have gotten a better welcome. What a wonderful place to be. Great to be back here. Like Butch said, we uh, was such a great welcome. A little dance party, and that's the way to get things going. And Before they could celebrate arriving, Butch and Sonny's flight took an extra hour, NASA says, because four of Starliner's engines stopped working. The Navy pilots took manual control of the autopiloted spaceship to get them back on track. From this view in the orbital daytime, you can see some of the RCS jets firing as crew takes manual control. And the thrusters weren't the only problem that popped up during their flight. Before launch Wednesday, we knew about one helium leak on Starliner, which NASA said was too small to be of any danger. Then in flight today, Mission Control and the crew had to work through two new helium leaks on Starliner. Mission Control MO kept us going and got us here. Uh, what a great, wonderful team effort. And in all the excitement, it's unclear just how serious any of Starliner's new issues may be. NASA had planned for Butch and Sonny to stay on the station for about 10 days. But should there be any adjustments to that schedule? We will let you know right here on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. At Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. Okay, here's where you come in. Open up that camera app, scan the QR code you see on your screen, click the link, and that'll take you to our poll. If you could go to space, would you do it? You can select yes, launch me, no, you're more down to earth type. That's how I am. So far, <laughs> majority say yes. I think if it really came down to it, I'm not so sure you would take that gamble. We'll take a look at the results during our online newscast at 630. You can stream it live on Click Orlando, YouTube, and the free News 6 Plus Smart TV app.